if you have your teletype in a large setup with something, let's say, uh, pants in your workout, you'll probably use that to trigger your teletype to make sure that everything runs in sync with everything else. But if you're using a teletype in a smaller setup like this, it can be useful, especially if the teletype is the master controller in your setup. It can be really useful to have the teletype drive everything else. And for that purpose, the teletype has a built-in metronome. And if you remember that there was a script called M, so I go into edit mode, pressing tab, and then I'm cycling through with the brackets. And here we go, M. So this is a script that gets called every time the metronome hits. So let's try to set this to do something. In fact, we could just make this trigger script one. Script one. Oh, <laughs> there we go, script one. So now whenever the metronome hits, it's going to trigger script one. That would be super useful. And then only thing is we need to know how do we activate the metronome? How do we set speed? So if we go back out to live mode, we'll find that there's an uh, operand just called M. And if we just type M, it will give us a number. In this case right now, I get 5,000. What that means is that's the interval in milliseconds that my metronome is set to. So 5,000 is five seconds. So every five seconds, it's going to ping. And in the script we set up, it's going to um, trigger input one. But we can kind of hear that nothing is happening right now. So we need to activate it. The way we do that is with the operand m dot act. And then one is to turn it on and zero is to turn it off. So let's try to turn it on. Now, immediately, you saw that we got a little M in the upper right-hand corner. That shows you that the metronome is currently running. You can also see now that our script is being run, and every five seconds, we get a little hit from the plot. So this is super useful, but five seconds between each isn't really going to do much for us musically. You probably want to set it to something that matches a specific BPM. I like to do a lot of uh, melodic techno, and for me, that needs to be around 124 BPM. So we could bring out our calculator and try to figure out how many milliseconds between each beat in 124 BPM. But Teletype also has a command built in for that, and it is called BPM. So if I give BPM the number of beats per minute I want, it is going to calculate that fact, the number of milliseconds I need between uh, each beat is 483. So we can now simply set the metronome to this. So M483. And now you can see that it's activating at what feels correct for that. This one might be a good moment to talk about chaining operators because that is what you'll be doing most of the time when you're writing scripts. Um, so in this case, we want to give some input to the M command that sets it to the BPM. But instead of us typing it in manually, we can just use the next operator here, BPM. Let's give it something where we can hear the difference. So now in the same way in one of the early episodes when we talk about how operators are grouped with parameters and executed, you can look at this as first 82 is being given as parameter to BPM. That's going to calculate, it's going to turn into a number, and then M is going to get the output of that as its operator. So let's try to run this. Pretty neat, huh? Now, Having to uh, go in and set all of this up every single time you restart your teletype is very inconvenient. Luckily, that's what the I script is for. I stands for init. So let's go back into edit mode by pressing tab. 
and then let's use the braggers to cycle through until we find i which is right here and now the first thing we might want to do is set our bpm now you'll notice nothing happens and that's because the only time the i script is being run is when we load our project so that means that we specifically press escape to go into the scene manager and load this then it'll be run but it'll also be run when teletype restarts because it essentially loads the full scene then it runs i and then it's ready so uh, we can trust that this will be this will happen when we restart our teletype so now the second thing we want to do is we want to activate it and so we'll do exactly the same in here. We'll send one to m.act for activate. And that should do it. Um, let's uh, just for fun, turn the metronome off again. Oh. And then let's go into scene write mode and write the scene. Remember, hold is alt and then escape then we get into right mode and then i'm gonna hold alt press enter to save it and now i'm back out but we haven't actually loaded the project so our initialized script is not being run yet so this time i'll press escape without alt i go into the scene uh, management mode here and i press enter to load this And suddenly our metronome is running again and uh, that essentially means that as the teletype was loading our scene the first thing it did was it would actually run the i script and that set up the metronome set it back to 124 bpm and then started it so that gives us a little bit of a base for creating a scene that actually makes some music I think that's about it for, for this video. In the next one, we'll probably look at setting up voltages to create something a little bit more complex. Thanks for watching. As always, leave me a comment if there's something you want me to go deeper into or if there's a, a specific topic you would like me to do sooner rather than later.